Thanks for stopping on our channel, which is dedicated to central heating. And as you can see, I've been doing this a long time. Balancing radiators is absolutely crucial for a happy system. In this video, I'd like to show you how to balance a whole house perfectly without any skills, tools or anything else. It's just a sequence. Way back in the 1970s, 80s and 90s, I was installing a heating system every single week. Started on a Monday, finished whenever. And I never had any laser thermometers, thermal imaging cameras didn't exist, but everybody's house was well balanced. So I'd like to show you how I do it. So please remember, this is a sequence of step by step and I'm going to give you some hints and tips along the journey until we reach the end. But I'd also like you to subscribe to our channel and switch on notifications for the next video I'm making. And it could be on radiators. I've got one bubbling up now on other products and services and thermostats and so on. So I make them roughly once a week. So if you would subscribe and notify, that would be terrific and spread the gospel. So if you've got heating problems, either leave them in the comments below. That's what it's for. And any links that I have. And don't forget, most of these faults and bits and pieces are in my yellow book, Fault Finding. So let's begin. Before we can begin balancing the system, we need to turn the heating off completely so it's nice and cold. The next stage is going to be going to all these radiator valves, the TRVs, thermostatic radiator valves, undo the nut, remove the sensor and put this in the middle of the radiator. Then we go to all the radiators with this white valve. So there's two sides. This one that we turn on and off is called the control. And the one with the dome, we call the balancing valve. So we need to turn both sides on full. We need to know when we switch the heating on that this side, the control side, gets hot first. And obviously with these thermostatic radiator valves, if they have an arrow on the body, and I'll show you that a bit later on, that's crucial. This has to be hot first and then the other side cooler. That's absolutely important because otherwise we're going to get tap, tap, tapping noise and all sorts of problems and the radiator will not get hot as it should do. So the way we do it is this. If you've got a pair of these white valves, control and balancing, we open it up full and then we count how many times it is round. So we've got three times or four times, whatever it takes, we count how many circumferences we get. Then we open it up fully. If you have a screw here in the middle, that's good news because that means that this is a high quality British standard valve, albeit white, albeit inefficient, but it's still a high quality one. If you don't have a screw here, you've got a cheapie. But we're going to rip them out anyway because we don't like it. You know me, I don't like these at all. We should have a balancing TRV and a lock shield, the balancing one fully opened. Easy peasy, perfect balancing. But this is important. We need to know which side of the radiator warms up first and how many turns this takes from fully open to fully closed. Now's the time to turn on the central heating because we want the pipes to warm up. The first stage is going to be all the valves that have got TRVs, 
we need to make sure that the sensor is on the side that warms up so hopefully it's on where the valve is but if it's in the wrong side then we need to change the valve and position so it might be up like this we might have to put it sideways not a difficult job but you're going to need a heating engineer to do this but nine times out of ten this is very very rare that it's on the wrong side but it is crucial because as you'll see in a minute there's an arrow and we must have to flow in the direction of the arrow. If you don't see an arrow, that means it's a bi-directional flow and return, so it doesn't matter which position and which side of the radiator. They're really posh and very advanced. Balancing TRVs will always have an arrow because that's the nature. That makes them much more efficient and cheaper to run. Now what we're going to do in our mind is divide the heating system into zones. So if you've got nine or less radiators, you're going to divide it into three. And if you've got more than nine, then we're going to divide the system into four. So what we're going to try and imagine is the distance from the boiler to the first couple of radiators, the first third or the first quarter, then the middle bit, and then the radiators that are on the far end, they'll be on four. So it's three zones whether it's upstairs or downstairs, doesn't make any difference. We are going to use the balancing side of this to make sure that the radiators nearest the boiler don't get too hot. And obviously the radiators far away don't get too cold. So we're trying to get it as well as possible. And we will achieve this. Not difficult, it's just the number of turns that this does. If you have more than nine radiators, then we simply divide it into four. So we do exactly the same as the other ones. We take the cap off this one. It's on full already. Remember how many turns it is from fully opened to fully closed. And then we go over to the first quarter radiators, whether they're upstairs or downstairs. Always remember, it's physically the distance from that radiator to the boiler and we want four zones as we've seen in the picture and as we can see here on my diagram. So that's all we do, we repeat the process. So the nearest ones, these is barely on and then we take that cap and put it back to where it should be. We go to the middle ones and then that'll be a little bit more open so we'll go from 20% on to 40% on to 60% on and the radiators far away wherever they are upstairs or downstairs they'll be on fully so therefore you have now balanced a large heating system thanks for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you have any comments, please leave them below. That's what it's for. How did you get on? I'd like to know. Don't forget, we've got other videos all about central heating to do with expansion vessels, controls, servicing, and other balancing ones as well. So thanks for watching and take care.